Hi and welcome to uh, Three Minute Maths. In this particular video we're going to be looking at algebra fractions. Uh, these come up a lot at fairly high level GCSE or equivalent type uh, questions and they're usually round about A, A star, something like that. The way that they'll be written it will say something like simplify and it's going to be x squared minus 25 and that's going to be divided by x squared plus 7x plus 10. And when you first look at these it can look a little bit intimidating but actually if you break it down into its component parts it's not too bad. The main thing with these is you need to remember that with uh, in keeping with every fraction, whatever you do to the top of the fraction, you've got to do to the bottom. So if you divide the top by something, you've got to divide the bottom by the same something. So just as a very brief example, let's say you've got 4 over 6. Well, 4 over 6 can be simplified by dividing the top and bottom by 2. So if I divide 4 by 2, I get 2. If I divide the bottom by 2, I get 3. And it's a little bit easier to deal with 2 thirds than it is to deal with 4 6. OK, so what we're going to do is use the same sort of principle with this. But the first thing we're going to do is we look at the top bit, which is the numerator. And we've got x squared minus 25. OK, and if I just write out the whole thing again, I've got x squared plus 7x plus 10 on the bottom. Well, the main thing to remember, uh, or to, to, to look at, is at the top, this particular one is the difference of two squares. So if I factorise that, it's going to be x plus 5 and x minus 5. OK, now if that's not um, quite clear to you, then maybe you need to have a look at uh, one of the other videos, and there is another video on difference of two squares. But basically what we're doing that is taking the factors of that and if you multiply that back out you'll see that it actually does uh, work out to x squared minus 25. I'm going to do the very similar thing with the um, expression on the bottom and the way that that will factorise will be x plus 5 and x plus 2. And again I can work that backwards if I want to. Um, I'll just do that very briefly, that x times x will be x squared, so that's that. x plus 2 and plus 5x is plus 7x, and then plus 5 times plus 2 is plus 10. Okay, um, I will put a link on the description box to the other videos that deal with that particular function. But what you can see, in exactly the same way as we've done there, where we divided through by 2, what I'm going to do is divide top and bottom by x plus 5. Well, if I divide top and bottom by x plus 5, that will cancel and that will cancel. So a simplification of that will be x minus 5 divided by x plus plus two. Um, I hope that's been helpful. Please have a look at the other videos. Uh, comment below and I'll put some explanation into the description. I look forward to seeing you inside the next three minutes.